Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over a problem, uh, 1325 on leak code, uh, delete leaves with a given value. So we're given a binary tree and we need to delete all the leaf nodes that have a value. Uh, the trick is, is when you delete a leaf node, uh, if w another node becomes a new leaf and also has a target that needs to be deleted, that one needs to be deleted as well. So it kind of like bubbles up. So naively, uh, because of this like condition here, uh, Naively, what you might want to do is if we look at this example right here, you might want to just like go through the tree, find all the leaves, check the leaves if they have the target and delete them, uh, like return null on them. And that's kind of what you do, but the problem is, is you have to like bubble up, right? So like if you look at the example, you remove this two, but then this two became the leaf and we have to remove that as well. So you also have to like prune it, you know, you have to prune everything. So moving on, if we delete this here, so the trick is actually pretty simple and we could do this recursively uh, just to keep things easy. Uh, so what we actually wanna do is, as always, you need a base case, right? So if the root is null, uh, we're just gonna return null. Uh, the reason being is if we come across a null node, uh, even after deleting this entire tree, uh, that node is still gonna be null. So uh, that's why you do this. Um, so what you wanna do and I actually don't want to uh, change anything yet or build the left and right subtrees. Let's handle the logic of whether this is a leaf or not. So let's just check if this is a leaf. So if it's a leaf, what does that mean? It means it has no children nodes and it, neither a left or a right. That means it's a leaf. So if root.val equals null and sorry, not root.val, root.left is equal to null and root.right is equal to null and also root.value is equal to target. So basically this is just asking, is this a node that needs to be pruned? If this is the case, then we're gonna return null. Why do we return null? Because this node should be deleted and deleting it just means that this node becomes null. So, and you can do this and you could even like uh, return root. The thing is, is that now we need to figure out how are we gonna recurse down the left and right subtrees and figure out this logic and where should we put it for that matter? Well. If you think about it, uh, we're actually having to bubble up. So we want to delete everything in the left and right subtrees, prune everything in the left and right subtrees before we can figure out if this is going to be a node we need to delete. Like if you look at an example, this one got pruned and this one got pruned. So what does that tell you? That tells you that you have to actually build the left and right subtrees before you do any of this logic here. So we'll do exactly that. We'll do it right before. So let's build the left subtree or prune it and we're just gonna take this here and go down the left side and then target. And then we'll take that again and uh, do it for the right side. So we'll go like that and then we'll go like that. And then this actually should be good right here. So let's run this. And it looks like it's pretty good, let's submit it. And yeah, 100%, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, the space is 30% because uh, it's done recursively. So uh, the recursive call stack uses space. So let's talk about time and space. So time is actually going to be worst case O of n. Uh, the reason being is the worst case is that we have to actually find every single node, right? And we do have to search every single node to find the leaf. So we have to reach the end. So it is going to be O n, where n is the number of nodes. Uh, space is worst case going to be O um, depth of tree. Uh, and that's just for the recursive call stack, right? It's just gonna be the max depth of the tree. Uh, so yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, just a really easy problem, even though it's medium apparently. Uh, yeah, just wanted to go through the solution. Thank you for watching.